Now, let us solve this problem. Solve the following recurrence relation using generating functions. This is the recurrence relation a n plus 1 minus a n equal to 3 power n for n is greater than or equal to 0 with a naught equal to 1. So, now we have to solve this recurrence relation with the help of the generating functions. We will get a generating function as the output. So, let us see this recurrence relation. So, this is nothing but a first order recurrence relation. We know that first order recurrence relation is of the form a n equal to c into a n minus 1 plus f of n for n is greater than or equal to 1. So, this is the formula. We can write this, uh, this uh, recurrence relation as like this also a n plus 1 equal to c into a n plus f of n we can write this as pi of n for n greater than or equal to 0. So, we may get the recurrence relation, we may get the problem like this way or this way. If you observe this problem, this recurrence relation is in this form. We can write the recurrence relation as a n plus 1 equal to if we move towards that side minus will become plus a n plus 3 power n for n, n is greater than or equal to 0. So, if we compare these two recurrence relations a n plus 1 equal to here the constant c value is 1 whereas what is pi of n? pi of n equal to 3 power n. So, now we have to use the uh, generating functions the formula we have to remember these formulas f of x equal to the first formula is f of x equal to first we have to write this value a naught plus x into g of x by 1 minus c into x this is the first formula and the second formula is g of x equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity we have to write this value pi of n into x power n. So, this is the formula. So, first here we have to compute g of x and then compute f of x. In f of x, g of x is needed. So, let us substitute pi of n value sigma n equal to 0 to infinity. What is pi of n? 3 power n. So, 3 power n into x power n. So, we can write this equation as sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. We can write this as 3x whole power n. 3x whole power n. Here we have a formula called sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity x power n can be written as 1 minus x whole power minus 1. Whereas this is the direct formula we can write this as 1 minus 3x whole power minus 1. This is the direct formula. So, here g of x value is 1 minus 3x whole power minus 1. Now, we need to compute f of x. So, let us compute f of x f of x equal to what is the formula a naught what is a naught a naught value is given in the problem that is 1 so 1 plus x into what is e of x 1 minus 3x what is e of x 1 minus 3x whole power minus 1 by 1 minus cx what is c value 1 so 1 into x is nothing but ex so, we can write this as 1 plus x into a power minus m means 1 by a power m. So, 1 by 1 minus 3x by 1 minus x. Let us calculate the LCM. So, 1 minus 3x is LCM. So, here first we will get 1 minus 3x plus x. So, we can write this as 1 minus 2x by 1 minus 3x. I am sorry, here we have 1 minus x also. 1 minus x also. So, 1 minus 3x, yeah, let us write little bit below. So, 1 minus 3x plus x by 1 minus 3x, next we have 1 minus x by 1 minus x. So, we can write this as 1 minus 3x plus x means 1 minus 2x by in the denominator we will get 1 minus 3x into 1 minus x, 1 minus 3x into 1 minus x. So, for space constraints, uh, I am erasing this portion there is no need of this formulas now. So, what is f of x? f of x equal to 1 minus 2x by 
1 minus 2x by 1 minus 3x into 1 minus x. Now let us take the partial fractions. Now let us take partial fractions. So partial fractions means we have to take this denominator value 1 minus 2x by 1 minus 3x into 1 minus x equal to. So the first value is a, a by we have to take the first value that is 1 minus 3x plus b by the second value is 1 minus x. Now we need to compute this one. So let us calculate the LCM. So here the LCM is so 1 minus 2x by what is left hand side 1 minus 2x by 1 minus 3x into 1 minus x is equal to LCM is 1 minus 3x into 1 minus x. So here in the numerator we will get a into 1 minus x plus b into this value 1 minus 3x. Here 1 minus 3x 1 minus x 1 minus 3x 1 minus x will be cancelled. So 1 minus 2x equal to a into 1 minus x means a minus ax plus b into 1 minus 3x means b minus 3bx. So 1 minus 2x equal to we can write as here the constant part is a plus b. Here we have minus minus if we observe this one and this one x is common a plus 3b a plus 3b. So now we can equate constant part and the x part. So we can equate a plus b equal to 1. Next we can equate this minus minus will be cancelled. So xx will be cancelled. So we can equate a plus 3b to 2. So now from these two equations we have to obtain what is a and what is b. Okay. What is a and what is b. So let us obtain a and b. So here we have a plus b equal to 1. So this is the first equation a plus b equal to 1. What is the second equation a plus 3b equal to 2 directly perform the subtraction operation. So b minus 3b means minus 2b equal to minus 1. So what is b value 1 by 2. Now let us substitute b value in this equation. So now what is a value 1 minus a equal to 1 minus b. What is b value 1 minus 1 by 2 that is equal to 1 by 2. So now a value is 1 by 2 as well as b value is 1 by 2. Now let us substitute a value and b value in this equation in this equation. So what is f of x now? f of x equal to. So what is the partial fraction equation? This equation. Here we have to substitute this 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 value in this equation. a b values. So a value is 1 by 2 by 1 minus 3 x. b value is also 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 by here the denominator is 1 minus x. So f of x equal to. So 1 by 2 is common. So we can write this as 1 minus 3x plus 1 by 1 minus x plus 1 by 1 minus x. Okay. So here we can write this as f of x equal to 1 by 2 equal to we can write this one as sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity 3x whole power n. Why? Because this is the direct formula. Here 1 by 1 minus 3x can be written as 1 minus 3x whole power minus 1. 1 minus 3x whole power minus 1 can be written as sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity 3x whole power n. Likewise 1 by 1 minus x can be written as 1 minus x whole power minus 1. 1, mi 1 minus x whole power minus 1 is nothing but sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity x power n. That is the direct formula. We have to remember that formula. Sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity x power n. Okay. So if you observe here f of x equal to so 1 by 2 into we can write this as 3 power n x x power n. So x power n is present in both the sides. So sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. So here we are having 3 power n. Here we are having 1. So 1 plus 3 power n. Here we have a generating function. The generating function formula is f of x equal to f of x equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. This n is nothing but generating function. Next f, x power n. So now we have to write this an. This is nothing but generating function. Here we have to find out the generating function. If you see here 1 by 2 is we have 1 by 2 1 by 2 into sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity. Here we have x power n. This is nothing but x power n. So what is an? 1 plus 3n. So 1 by 2 into 1 plus 3n. So this is nothing but 
the generating function for this problem. So likewise we can solve any problem if it is a first order recurrence relation whereas if it is a second order recurrence relation then there are different formulas for f of x and g of x. We will see that later. So likewise we can solve the problem. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.